Everyone loves the library and the chance to wander up and down the stacks of books, looking at those tomes nearby, searching for that moment of serendipity. The perfect chance discovery of something you wanted to read, but you didn't know existed. People complain about this all the time. I can't do this online, they say to me. Well, let me show you how to browse the virtual bookshelf. I'm going to show you two ways. First, using Google Books, look for a book. Say, books by or about Ernest Hemingway. And here we've got a lot of books by or about Hemingway. So I'm going to click on one, say, to have or have not. And I want to show you a special feature you may not know about. Over here on the left-hand side, about this book. See that? Have you ever noticed it? No, you haven't. When you click on it, this is what you get. You get a bunch of information about the book, including summary, the ability to search inside, reviews, related books, often by that same author. And I can scroll back and forth in this list to see some related books. So there's shelf number one. But if I keep scrolling farther down, table of contents, other editions, common terms and phrases, and these blue links down here under bibliographic information. See that? This link, if I command click on this link, click, that opens up a new tab that gives me other books by Ernest Hemingway. If I click on this tab here, fiction literary, it opens a new tab that has nothing but literary fiction in it. These are working off the subject catalog headings of each book. So what we've got here now are two immense shelves. This one has 365 books by Hemingway. That's a big shelf. Here's another shelf of literary fiction. But there's more. There's another thing you can do. I'm going to open up a new tab and say, show me Google list of literary fiction books using the same idea of the catalog name that is literary fiction. And look what I've got here. A huge list that I can scroll through of, guess what, literary fiction. We can do the same thing with something a bit more technical, say the Cascadian Subduction Zone. And I can click on a book, say that one right there, and do the same thing. Click on about this book, and now I can find, again, reviews, more related books, and down at the bottom, under bibliographic information, more shelves, more books by that author, here are new topics, earthquakes and volcanoes. I can open up a new tab with that and a catalog for natural disasters. There we go. Lots of books, 394 books about earthquakes and volcanoes, and another set of books just about disasters. If those aren't great shelves, I don't know what a great shelf is going to be.